Hey guys, so Rena here, and tonight I just want to quickly talk to you about a recipe that I tried tonight. It was a lentil soup, and again, going with the cool weather here in South Florida, as cool as it can get, um, I'm sticking to the whole soup theme right now. So I typically have a lentil recipe soup that I stick to. Um, it's one that a coworker gave me. I absolutely love it. And I didn't bring it with me to the grocery store, so I had to find a new recipe while I was, you know, away from home and my normal recipe. And so I came across, of course, a Pinterest recipe. And the recipe boasts that everybody will love it. Kids love it. Old people love it. It's just delicious. I don't know the reference to the old people but that's what it said. So anyways, um, I decided to give it a try and I invited my parents over for dinner tonight to enjoy it with me. So the ingredients were really simple. It had obviously lentils, um, carrot, celery, onion, and vegetable broth, and then cumin, and I actually added polka kielbasa. I know that I'm killing that, how you say it. I don't know how to say it, but I added sausage to it. Polka kielbasa, whatever that round one is, you know? Um, Todd likes having some meat in his stuff, so he likes having some meat in his soup. So <laughs> that is what I added to it. Now, um, it's really easy to make. It takes about half an hour for the lentils to tenderize. I like it and I don't like it and I'll tell you why. So let's start off. It makes a lot, which is fabulous because you can eat it the next day. You can freeze some, whatever you want to do with it. April, what are you doing back there? Hey! <laughs> okay, so what are you looking at? Um, so you, what was I even talking about now? All right, so it makes a lot, which you can freeze, you can do whatever you wanna do with it. It is totally great to do that. Now here is my qualm with the lentil soup. I needed to add stuff because I felt like it didn't have enough flavor. It was missing something, it was very bland. And I mean, all they tell you to add on top of cumin and vegetable broth is salt and pepper. Oh, it had garlic in it in the beginning that you like smush up and you put in. So that should give it garlicky flavor. I felt like I was missing that. So I ended up adding um, some garlic powder. I added a significant amount of salt because it really didn't have much flavor. I ended up adding a whole lemon to it. Um, and I think that's that I just went, I didn't want to stray too far from the recipe. Uh, so that's what I did. And I added the polka kielbasa, I cut it up into, you know, little cubes, like that. Little cubes. And, um, I threw that in there, and I know that the polka kielbasa, oh my god, I know I'm killing that, but whatever. Um, I know that it has a lot of sodium in it, so if I let that stew in there, obviously it was going to, you know, add that salty flavor to it. So if I let, I let that sit for a while, and that let it, you know, salt up a bit. And then on top of that, I also threw in a whole bag of spinach. I think it was a 16 ounce bag, yeah, 16 ounce bag of spinach. And I let those, you know, work themselves down. <laughs> but overall, once I had done all those things, it was a very tasty soup. I guess it just depends on your own taste buds, if you're gonna like it or not. Um, Everybody here liked it. My parents loved it, except for my niece, who is, I believe, six years old. I'm really bad at that stuff. And she did not like it. She ate all of the polka kielbasa out of it, and then she very sweetly said, I don't like the soup, which was totally fine. And on the side, just a side note, I did serve it with some three cheese, Texas toast bread, whatever, which was a great compliment to it. So if you guys want to give it a try, I do recommend it. I just know that you are going to add some stuff to it. You know, you may have to add some stuff to it, I should say. I ended, even, I ended up even adding more broth to it, and I didn't have any more vegetable broth, so I ended up making my own little, you know, chicken with, like, bouillon, bou bouillon, 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 whatever. 
I ended up making, you know, maybe two cups more of that and just added it if it needed. Again, I needed to adjust the flavor after that. So it's not a go-to just like make it and it's perfect type of recipe. You do need to taste it and, you know, maybe add a few things here and there if you feel that it's missing. But overall, once you do those things, it is a good recipe to try out, especially during this weather. You done? <laughs> so give it a try, guys. She wants to go to bed. Bye.